Hello, this is John with Brainstorm Comics and Gaming. This is a two-part unboxing because we got one special book back this time. Um, I think it's uh, our hottest pepper yet. What do you think, Chris? I know you know the book. I don't think I told you the grade yet. I forget what I did or not. But I don't remember. I blocked it out if you did because I like to be surprised, unlike you. Okay. Well, like I said, you know, this spot. Whoa, whoa, it's kind of kind of hot already. Um, I know we had plans for stuff, but I won't do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it for a different book later on. Internet, I just saved you a whole lot of cringe. Thank me later. <laughs> I've been sleeping with this box for like the last you, three days. You've been sleeping with it? Yeah, yeah, next to me in the bed. I made Avery sleep in his own bed. So I was going to say, I'm sure your, your wife was not happy about that. <laughs> Speaking of Avery, if, I, if my shirt looks a little dirty, I'm sorry about that. I just got back from a t-ball game where Avery was... Uh, was uh, going his last game. So. Did he win? Did they win when, a T ball at that at that age? It's not really a game game. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> it's just, more like a waste of energy. It's just um, organized children running around. Disorganized uh, chaos. Sure, 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 sure. Disorganized chaos. Yeah. So this box. When I bought this book, I told people I was pretty sure it was was a nine eight. Um. I did have a clean and press. We didn't do it here because we weren't doing the cleaning and pressing stuff yet. Um, I don't want to mislead people into thinking that this was our cleaning and pressing job. Our, our guys are, and gals are doing great a great job. Uh, we'll have pictures of that stuff up later. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not misleading anybody into thinking that this was one of our pressing jobs. So this is one of the hottest books of the last year or so. As you can see, it's a slightly big. Well, maybe you can't see it on there because there's no, no frame of reference. But it's a slightly bigger. Uh, uh, it is a little bigger than a regular slab. Yes. A little bigger. A little bigger. So which book? That is, should be one clue. <laughs> All right. So we'll do like the uh, slow reveal. All right. Oh. Uh, which book uh, is it, Chris? Uh, which book is it, Chris? Oh, I know what book it is. Which book is it? It's 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 Raphael. It's a Raphael number one. Nine. It's a nine eight. Wow. I told people when when I got it, I thought it was gonna be a nine eight. Um, obviously, the cleaning and pressing may have uh, brought it up to that. It may have been a little bit lower before uh, wow. beforehand, but it is a crisp looking book. And if, if for people out there that didn't know what makes this book special, other than it being um, Raphael number one. Uh, Kevin Eastman cover, first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles spinoff, first appearance of, there he is, guys, Casey Jones. Casey Jones. Casey Jones! It's also, I think, the fourth or fifth appearance of the Turtles. It's an early, early Yeah, one. for sure, yeah, 1985. That is, that is a spicy, spicy pepper right there, buddy. Yes, this one's going to be hitting. I, normally, I wait a week or two before I put, post it on eBay. This one's going up immediately because, you know, <laughs> I just saw my invoice. But... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you think of that one, Chris? I mean, that's uh, that's spicy. That's a nice one. That's one that people have been fighting for for the last year. So this one saw a, a huge jump in price over the last last year. So, mm -hmm. um, so let us know what you think of this one. Like I said, you may one have... of the better covers too. I mean, some of those old turtle covers were a little janky. <laughs> yeah. They weren't the, I don't know. I don't think they're the greatest of artists. So, you know, that one definitely requires a big drop of, uh, of, uh, of tea. To deal with that didn't, spice. Didn't forget, didn't forget this time. Right. On the school scale, I think this one rates pretty high. I think that, you know. I still have no idea what the school scale is, but I'm saying this is a pretty dope book. Yeah. Is, it was big enough to get me in here on a Saturday morning. To film a uh, one book unboxing. <laughs> well, let me combine this with the next box. It has two books that are going to make people go, oh my god. Not quite as oh my god as this one, but still pretty oh my god. Like just like a regular oh my god? Or like like a, oh my god. god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I don't even know what to say, but you know. You didn't take the bait, it's okay. <laughs> So, you know, maybe, maybe maybe I'll take this to bed one more time and then put it up on the internet. Oh, that know. just made it creepy. <laughs> it was fun for a second, now it's creepy. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll have this one 
uh, paired with another unboxing, so it's not just a short little five minute video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a good good day. Okay. Good. Yep. Hello, this is John Price for Comics and Gaming, and we have another unboxing for you. As you can see, I'm not over where we normally do it. I'm in the middle of our pressing uh, pressing area. We have Peter down here getting ready to clean a giant size X Men number one for one of our our uh, clients. So uh, he's excited about working on that one. Um, pretty good batch you got there you got to get work on. Uh, Star Wars number 42, Team of Dracula number 10, and Thor number 337. Pretty good batch there. I know you were excited when you saw that batch. You Absolutely. So. Excited about all the Silver Age we got going on over here. Yeah. So. It's a Silver Age kind of day. <laughs> so we'll make this quick because Peter's got work to do and we're in his area. He's <laughs> getting... <laughs> in case anyone has any ideas, we have really good security. <laughs> so... Uh, one of my employees thought this was a box from one of our distributors, so it has been opened already. I have not opened it up. I have not looked at it. I know what's in there, though, because I always look at, I take a peek at the grades and everything. Chris yells at me for that. All the time. Why so, don't you want to be surprised ever? He asked, uh, do I, do I ruin Christmas also? And I answered yes. For no shade in November, you should not look at any of the, you should be surprised for the whole month. Uh, nah, I gotta know. I gotta know whether it be sad or not, so... I just cut myself on the carpet. <laughs> 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 oh, it's one of those days. So the first one, we're going to go to a galaxy far, far away. Very big book right now. Heir to the Empire, number one, from 1995, Dark Horse, 9.8, white pages, beautiful book. Uh, first Thrawn and First Marriage Aid, right? Pretty sure. Your phone is doing all kinds of wild, like... Oh, it's no. just, oh, it's doing its thing right now. But let's roll with it. <laughs> we'll show the back off. Let me it makes life exciting. Back. Yep, Marriage Aid and Thrawn. So, people are very excited about uh, both that, of those characters. Could have got that book for two bucks on eBay in less than a year ago. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely seen some growth. <laughs> And then the next one, Wolverine's Daughter, X-23, NYX number 3, 9.8. That is a spicy, spicy pepper right, right there. Pretty, but I, we forgot to do it. You know, we still have to do that. You know, we keep talking about it. And maybe that'll just be our uh, our uh, our bit. Uh, we keep talking about doing the pepper scale. <laughs> yeah, you still haven't explained to me what the pepper scale is. So. I... So, anyway, so the white pages, like I said, 9.8, beautiful book. Um, took us a while to get it back from CGC, but well worth it, as you can see. I let my copy of this go way too early. I think there's still a lot of growth in it if she appears in the MCU. Yeah. And I, I bleed for, I bleed for, for at least. Oh, John, look at that battle wound. <laughs> my goodness. Do I need to call the medics? We do need to call the medics. So. I, I didn't have my props for the water. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do anything. You know. Oh well. Two great peppers, though. In addition to the one we had earlier, that we'll we'll glue onto this one, the uh, the Raphael number one. So some great stuff. You have anything to stay in closing there, Peter? You know, some great comics. I'm looking forward to pressing some of yours soon. So, we are taking submissions over at the Walkersville location, uh, so you can start bringing in your books. Uh, we are limiting it to 500 books per per month for the first two months, so um, make sure you get them in so you, so you can get yours in. Um, we have a lot of presses. If Peter or if uh, Chris wants to do a quick... Look at uh, that thing. It's huge. <laughs> So we are excited about all the stuff we have in the works, and uh, hopefully we see you and your book soon. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.